welcome back to the T Tech Teacher YouTube channel where we dive where we dive deep into the world of gaming PCs. If you're new here, you probably love gaming and are always on the lookout for the best budget builds. Today we're tackling a challenge, building the cheapest custom built PC we can that will run Elden Ring at recommended settings. First, let's take a look at the recommended settings for Elden Ring. According to the developers, Here's what you need. We'll aim to meet these specs while keeping our build cost as low as possible. To start with, we're going to need a CPU. For our CPU, we chose the Ryzen 5 3600X. It's a powerful processor that offers great performance for gaming and multitasking, making it a fantastic budget option. You can pick it up used for around $80 on eBay be sure to purchase from a credible seller. Next up, the graphics card. I like the GTX 1070 recommended, but for a few dollars more, I would purchase a GTX 1080. While newer GPUs are certainly available, the GTX 1080 packs a heck of a punch and is very affordable if you purchase one used. You can find one for about 100 to 110 if you're careful looking around. Due to our case specs, due to our case specifications, be sure to get a 1080 with a length smaller than 260 millimeters total size. For memory, we went with 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. We found a 2 by 8 gigabit kit for around $35. This is a great capacity for gaming and ensures smooth performances in Elden Ring. Fast storage is also crucial for quick load times and overall system responsiveness. We chose a 512 gig M.2, which gives enough space for four or five games plus an operating system. The cost is somewhere around $35. For the motherboard, we chose the B450M. It's a reliable board with good features and it costs around $60. It also supports our Ryzen CPU out of the box. Powering our build is the Apivia Captain 550 watt ATX power supply. It's enough to handle our components and has a decent reputation for reliability. This power supply costs $32. Though it is not a name brand per se, I have built computers with them in the past and they work well. If you would like to spend a little bit more here and get something that's name brand, I could totally understand that. For around the $50 mark, you can get a Crucial Corsair EVGA 550 watt. But in this, in this build, we're trying to save as much money as possible. Finally, we need a case to house everything. We chose the Gamados ATX Mid Tower case. It's sleek, functional, and is a great deal at $55. You might find a few cheaper options, but I love the build quality of this case and the fact that it has pre-installed LED fans means everyone will be jealous of your computer. For our operating system, we're going to use Windows 11 and we're going to purchase Windows 11, a key at Electronic First, for around $6. We want to make sure everything is legal and they have made cheap keys available for several years. I've bought several keys here and never had any problems with it. With this build, you will be able to run the game smoothly and the visuals will be stunning. This build handles Elden Ring beautifully, giving you a fantastic gaming experience without breaking the bank. All total, you'll be in around $400. This computer is also capable of handling most games out now at great frame rates. To be a little more future proof, invest a few dollars more into a 1TB M.2 and upgrade the CPU to a Ryzen 5 5600X and your gaming experience will be on par with way more modern systems out now that are very expensive. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more budget builds and tech tips. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next. Happy gaming. The recommended parts lists are all in the description below.